morning everyone. I hope you've had a fabulous week so far. Today we will be looking at the difference between the Scamp and the Happier Camper. If you are thinking of purchasing a lightweight fiberglass trailer, you will probably have heard of the Scamp. Maybe, maybe not heard of the Happier Camper. I'm going to show you both today and pros and cons of each one. Stay tuned, you might actually be pretty surprised. So what is a scamp? What is a happier camper? And which one should you get? Uh, so both the scamp and the happier camper are short fiberglass lightweight travel trailers. And if you are looking for a travel trailer, I'm going to be right out there honest and you are going to love whichever you get. They're, they're both amazing. Um, so the Happier Camper, like Fern, it is a HC1 that I own. It's 13 foot, it's lightweight, and now Happier Camper have come out with a longer version called the Happier Camper Traveler. Have a look at the, um, which one should I buy, Happier Camper HC1 or Traveler, to get an idea and better comparison of those two. Now, um, Happier Camper is a much more modern company. It has been running for just a few years and they have modular. Um, however, the history of the Scamp goes way, way back. Uh, it goes back to the 70s and you can pick up some um, original Scamps and refurbish them and make them into something very beautiful. But you can also buy a Scamp new, and the website I am just putting right here. Also, they've got a call number. I called them and got some information on their Scamps made to order, and they were really, really helpful. So, there is a big question of not just <laughs> which fiberglass trailer are you going to get, there's also the question of which size you are going to get. Happier Camper might have two options for size right now. Scamp has a lot more. They've got the 13 foot, they've got the 16 foot, they have a 19 foot travel trailer. And there is a lot of decision on which you would like to choose depending on what you need. So let's have a look at the differences of the Happier Camper and the Scamp. Um, the weight of the Scamp, same size um, to the uh, Happier Camper, 13 foot to 13 foot, also 19 foot to 19 foot. There is actually a huge weight difference um, between the Scamp and the Happier Camper 13 foot and also the Scamp and the Happier Camper 19 foot. If you have a tow vehicle that is limited on amount of weight, weight is certainly something you want to consider. My um, pole tray, my pole vehicle, what I use to tow our Happier Camper, um, would not be able to tow um, the Scamp that is similar of similar size. So if you don't want to have to go out and purchase a new vehicle, that is something to consider for sure. Um, also. Happier Camper is modular, so between the two of them, if you're not exactly sure how you want your setup to be, if you want to have your camper as a bed one day, and then you're going to change it over and it's going to be a travel kitchen, and then the next day you want to take everything outside of your Happier Camper and kind of camp under the stars, you can do that too. The extra perk of the Happier Camper is that it is modular, you can change it around. Um, however, there are certain limitations to this modular system. One of them is access to your stuff. Um, because of the modular cubes, your access points are from above. So if you are trying to open up your um, cubes to have access to things, you have to kind of take your bed apart, uh, lift off the mattress, roll it back, and then lift up the cushion, and then lift up the lid, and then dig your hands in. Um, and you really need to make sure you remember which order you had your stuff in, or it's going to be literally like a game of memory um, trying to find where you put your stuff. So there is 
a lot more organizational skills needed for your happier camper if you don't want to drive yourself insane, especially if you have taken all your cubes outside during your camping experience and then put them back inside in a different order and you're like, where did I put the Cheerios? Where? Are they in this one? No, let's try that one. Um, that's one of the biggest drawbacks that we have in the Happier Camper, which you will not get in something in a more permanent inside structure like a Scamp. Of course, if you have your Happier Camper set up exactly how you like it and you don't want to take your modules out at all, you can super glue those suckers right down and have no problem. Um, although I wouldn't recommend that. It is nice to take those cubes out and just give that whole thing a scrub down which is another thing that I have never seen in any of the other campers. You can't just remove everything to its shell base and then scrub it down and then put everything back in with ease. Uh, that is definitely one of the biggest perks of the Happier Camper, which makes it that much more original. So what I love though about the scamps are, um, be it your older scamp or newer scamp, you can pretty much do it made to order with specific exact specs. So, you know, if you want a queen size bed or just a double or two twins, um, you can organize that however you like. It's going to be permanent, but if you know what you're going to do, if you already have your decisions made, that is definitely a perk and you won't have as much access problems because you are going to be able to plan where your storage is going to be, be them upright cupboards, be them overhead cabin bins, or if they are cabinets that can open sideways open, if you know what I mean, <laughs> like a door um, under your bedding, you can do that too. But it has a few more, I mean, long-term planning implications. You, you need to know exactly what you want. And if you were that sort of person, definitely consider getting a scamp. Okay, let's say you have decided that you want to buy a scamp. Here's another question for you is that, are you going to choose an old traditional 1970s scamp, a beautiful retro scamp um, and completely refurbish it and do it up? One of the greatest perks of having something like a scamp or a similar older trailer is that you can pick these up off of eBay for just a few thousand dollars and then you can just make them your own. No matter how simple or detailed you want to make these, you have that ability, which is incredible and amazing. You won't be waiting a long time for your, your camper or travel trailer to be made. You'll be able to pick it up from whatever seller and just start right away, which gives you as an owner such an incredible sense of satisfaction to be able to have every inch of that pretty much your own. Another perk of uh, scamps is that the scamp website is incredible, as I said before, and their, their staff um, and offices seem very helpful, um, just like most sales places are, but there are so many things that you can buy for your older scamp if you're refurbishing that the scamp headquarters will have and be able to help you out with. If you go to their website, I'm going to um, put a link to my website, which has all the resources you will need to look at every single travel trailer I am aware of, and Scamp is one of them. Have a look at the price sheet. Everything that you need for your build will be um, available most likely from their website. Do have a look even if you're not sure and use that as a comparison. I also like some of the scamp items that I might even put on my happier camper. So um, even if you already own your happier camper or another small travel trailer, do have a look at their resources because they're they're pretty pretty darn handy. Um, not not um, affiliated with them at all. In fact, when when I told them I was going to be doing an article um, on on scamps, I never heard back again because they knew I wasn't going to buy. Uh, but do have a look if you are buying a scamp or if you will be interested in getting things from them. They have so far seemed pretty excellent. Okay, sorry, 
complete tangent there, but uh, getting back on topic now. So um, yes, getting your old old scamp on eBay, have a look. There's a few other websites uh, to look at if you were looking for travel trailers. Be aware of scams. There are scammers out there um, just to make sure that you're allowed to visit and examine it before you pick it up. I've noticed in the past when I was scouting around for my perfect travel trailer, I looked at eBay and a lot of the things that came up there looked good and whenever I would ask questions, if I heard answers back, usually I knew that they were straight and the ones that didn't bother answering, especially if I wanted to view it in person, I knew that were <laughs> likely scammers. Um, so that is something to be aware of when you are looking for an older model. Okay, so we were talking about the difference of cost, buying a cheap travel trailer um, that's vintage, that needs refurbishment. The first initial laydown of cost is going to be pretty low. Obviously, you're not going to be getting financing for that. And when it comes down to choosing all the bits and bobs you want to use to refurbish it, um, and it depends on your bank, you may be able to get financing for that. It, it, you might not be. If you buy a travel trailer that's nice and new and shiny, some of the companies allow for financing, some do not. When I bought my Happier Camper, I was told that they did not do financing, yet I know other owners have said that they did finance at the company when they bought. So just ask. Um, if they do it, they'll let you know right away. If not, then that's something else to consider. Now, if you are looking at the cost of a new scamp versus a new happier camper, I will tell you straight up the scamp is a little bit more cost effective. And when I called and asked about packages, um, the 13 foot they quoted to me, and that was May 2020, as 13295 for the basic uh, bundle, bundle without the bathroom. If you wanted to add the bathroom, it was 14595 and then it just kind of went up from there, but it was still a few thousand cheaper than the Happier Camper. So really, when it comes down to what are you going to do, as I said before, look at your towing vehicle if you have to get a new towing vehicle for your camper or trailer, how much do you want to invest in that? Because that is certainly a consideration. Um, make a list of exactly what you think you need in a camper and be realistic. Some people find with a bathroom especially, they think they want a shower and a toilet inside and then later they find out that they absolutely do not want that inside and vice versa. So if you are like that, Something like the Happier Camper is handy because you can move things around, take things in, move them out. They're not permanent and they're not stuck in place. Um, so, you know, the time. Let's go talk about the time. Um, how long does it take for a new camper to be made? You've put in your order and when we ordered our Happier Camper, there was one already in production and the paint was already chosen, but we did choose to have that repainted by the company, which took a little bit more time, but in the long run, it took a lot less time because it was already half put together when we ordered it. And I've heard from other people that the waiting time for a new Happier Camper at the moment, as of May 2020, is about a two-year wait, which sounds incredibly long. And I know that people who are doing their DIYs, starting from scratch, that can take them about the same length of time. However, <laughs> if you want a new build and you don't want to wait that long, the SCAMP uh, representative that I spoke to, I asked about their waiting times and their waiting times were so much shorter than the Happier Camper. So um, it's just a matter of weeks instead of a matter of years, um, according to the man I spoke to. And I mean, I was at a loss for words, but you know, SCAMP, they've been doing this for years and they have a set um, amount of, of customers they're expecting through. Perhaps that's why newer companies like Happier Camper take so much longer to produce. Um, so that is certainly a definite huge perk of Scamp. Also, they do deliver once once it's finished. So if you are 
desperate to jump on the road and you want something that is definitely road worthy, then consider getting a um, made to order scamp and do check out their website. It is like the list of options that you have is, is pretty incredible. Um, so moving on, what are your thoughts? Um, you know, I really like that the HC1 is modular, meaning it's like a Tinker Toys for grown-ups, <laughs> and it helps you uh, move it about if you're not absolutely sure of what you want. You know, moving it around is totally easy. It's super cinch. You just, you know, rip it out, remodel, and yet, as I mentioned before, there are still some obvious drawbacks. The upside to both is that resale seems really on trend at the moment. If you decided you wanted to change your mind, selling it on seems pretty straightforward. Um, and it will likely see a rise in sales in the future, especially after this whole COVID thing has gone on and people are a little bit unsure um, of, of life. I've noticed a huge trend in new sales and trailers. Thank you so much for watching. If you are looking for your fiberglass trailer still, I hope this has helped you in your decision. Whatever you do, you are gonna have a fabulous time. There is so much to see. There are so many campgrounds you can get to in a small trailer that you cannot get to in a larger RV. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Those buttons are below and also leave a comment if you have already purchased your trailer please tell me what did you get i'm so excited about your new adventures and uh, stay safe and keep camping